Hello again, I'm Blunty, and this is kaboom, take two of this video about the Apple iPad because I just I just did an entire take and I, I ranted and rambled and, and gobbled on for 18 minutes straight. <laughs> I don't want you to have to watch a video for 18 minutes just to see what I think about the iPad and stuff. What it basically boils down to, what I basically said in that video is I like the idea of the iPad. I'm going to be getting one. I'm going to be getting the Wi-Fi version, not the 3G version, for a couple of reasons. I don't want to wait an extra month to get the 3G version. And if I happen to be using the iPad when I'm out and about on the road away from my Wi-Fi, which probably isn't going to happen that often, I can just get something like the MiFi and share a 3G connections over Wi-Fi directly to the iPad, and it's problem solved. If I'm sick of the jokes about the iPad, pad being a similar name to the generic name for a type of feminine hygiene product it's not that funny people grow up do you burst into a fit of childish giggle every time you see a simple pad of paper because that has the same name too <laughs> more like more like i tampon <laughs> you really think that's clever really really it's not get over it move on the other thing that I was railing about was the, the reception it's gotten from so-called technologically savvy and uh, technology journalists and, and, and the, the commentators and the like, and how desperately badly they're just missing the point by so many miles, it's utterly ridiculous, or kilometres. Uh, people get annoyed when I say miles, because I'm Australian, we're in you know, a metric system here in kilometres, but miles is just easier to say than kilometres, but now I'm scrambling off the side of my point again, so I'll get back onto my point. The main criticisms leveled at it, no flash. Who really cares? Flash is going to die eventually. Web video is moving away from flash to the HTML5 video tag in bed format. That's fine, that's simple, it's gonna work, no problems there. But in general, flash only sites, oh well, I wanna go to the like the Avatar movie site when that was coming out, that was entirely in flash. and. That's a pain in the ass because it chews up memory, it chews up processor cycles, flash is inherently unstable, it's still got security holes in it that have been sitting there for years and years and years. That's a big problem. And fully flash sites are just annoying to use anyway. Sure, they look really awesome and you've got the sound effects and the things swooping and, and the things open and it looks really impressive and sleek and modern and all that sort of stuff, but it's a pain in the ass and it takes you forever to navigate them because you have to wait for them to load and then they do the little silly animations while they bring up the content and say you want a screenshot or something, you go click, click and oh, there's the screenshots. And then the row of screenshots, and then the row of screenshots, you click on the screenshot you actually want to use for your desktop wallpaper or something. You go, on a normal website, you go click, 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 right click, download, done. So Flash is annoying for that, but it's inherently unstable. It slows down the system. I mean, if I've got any more than three tabs open and they've each got different Flash content, my browser just, just crawls to a halt and it's awful. And So I'm glad to see Flash gone. On a mobile experience, I don't want Flash. I don't need it there. Then one of the most asinine things was, oh, it's got this giant bezel around the side. Well, of course it does. You've got to hold the thing. You've got to have someone for your thumbs to go, you giant moron. One of the other things was people railing about, oh, how it's not as good as a netbook for this and this because netbooks have this and they've got a proper keyboard and they've got a web camera and they can run a full desktop operating system and blah, 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 blah. And guess what? It's not designed to replace netbooks for people who need all those functions on a netbook. You massive idiot. Let's, this is designed to sit between netbooks and mobile phones and laptops and all this sort of stuff. It's a, it's a different concept altogether. It's not designed to replace anything. I'm sure it will for my, many people who just use netbooks for a bit of web surfing, a bit of email and all that sort of stuff. This is going to replace those. But people who need all those extra, you know, full desktop style accoutrements for they use on the netbooks, like being able to plug in hard drives and have the web camera going and full desktop environment, word processing and typing a lot and all that sort of stuff. Sure, keep your netbook for that. They're not going to disappear just because the iPad comes out. There's still a heap of them coming through the market and they're getting better and better and better. If you don't like the iPad because it is more restricted than a netbook, don't buy, don't buy one. They're not aimed at you. If, if, <laughs> if you need the stuff that a netbook has, Apple aren't saying, well, we're going to stop everyone else selling netbooks. This is your only option. It's not your only option, so stop bitching about it. It's ridiculous. It's just like a giant iPhone. Why is that a problem? The iPhone is awesome. The iPhone is fantastically popular. It works brilliantly. Lots of people love it. And a whole bunch of other manufacturers have been imitating the iPhone ever since the iPhone came out. Every major phone manufacturer out there brought out a big screen with a touch thing and even some got multi-touch now and they all look a bit like the iPhone anyway. Why is it a problem if it looks like a giant iPhone? That's a good thing in my opinion because the iPhone has proven itself already. Why not? 
just blow that up so you get way more screen real estate to play with and have a lot more options when it comes to apps specifically designed for the iPad to take advantage of that huge thing and it can run all your favorite iPhone and uh, apps anyway. Why is that a problem? Well, it's not a proper desktop environment. That's also a good thing, you massive imbeciles. Who wants the, the, a, a full desktop environment on something that's just, just designed to fill this specific little niche? People who just want to sit on, the, like me, I'm going to go sit on my couch with it. I'm going to do a bit of casual web surfing and check the blogs and check my news feed and do a bit of email and update the Twitter every now and again and all that sort of stuff. That's all I want it to do. And it's going to do that perfectly. You know why it's going to do that perfectly? Because my iPhone already does it perfectly for me. The only reason that I want an iPad is because it has a lot more screen real estate, which is the only thing that, that has me using my laptop when I'm sitting on the couch instead of this. Just the screen real estate that's pure and simple. And guess what? If you want a full desktop environment, there are a bunch of other slate type computer devices out there that run. Like Windows 7, for example. HP, you've got a, uh, was it HP or Dell or a CES or one of, one of the two, or both probably, I bring out a very cool looking slate tablet that runs full version of Windows 7. And Windows 7 doesn't suck. Vista sucked. XP was horrible. <laughs> but this Windows 7, even as a Mac user, Windows 7, I don't, I don't hate myself when I have to use it. It's good. So if you want that full desktop environment, you want the full multitasking, you want to be able to run eight things at once and kill your battery in nanoseconds, that's fine. Other people are doing that for you. The iPad is there for people who don't want to get that technical. They just want to do simple, easy, quick, fast, painless. So here's my tip to you, you asinine bunch of ridiculously myopic tech journalists who are ragging the iPhone for all the wrong reasons. Slap yourself around the face, wake up a bit, and realize that the iPad is something different. It's not designed to pigeonhole into a space that already exists. Apple have gone, well, people have been trying this, this tablet thing for a while, and they're all getting it wrong. That's the reason tablets haven't taken off. They've been around for close to a decade. People have been producing these things, and they just haven't made much of an impact, apart from a couple of niche places and the only reason they exist there is because that's the best option they've got at the time but the iPad is something new they're creating a new segment of the market and you know what the things that are missing from it Apple have always been forward thinking you remember the big stink that people made when Apple got rid of the floppy drive they started producing uh, the, the, the original IMAX and they didn't have a floppy drive, people went, oh, that's uh, well, how, how dare they remove the floppy drive? The floppy drive is a vital part of computing. How am I supposed to say for... Guess what? Apple were right to do it. They just got in there first because they look more forward than other people do. I'm losing light. Why am I losing light? Sorry about that, guys. I should have been... I should have had my other lights up. But I just felt lazy and felt like... I've already rambled too long. I started this video on take two and I talked too long in the last video. Now I'm talking more again. I guess I have a lot more to say about the iPad than I thought. Maybe I'll do another video. Oh, well, I probably won't do any more videos about it until it launches or until new news comes out, like a, the, the rumored update to the, point, the 4.0 version of the software it's supposed to be hitting the iPhone. It's probably going to hit the iPad and all that sort of stuff. But for now, I just wanted to... Sorry, open the curtain again. For now, I just wanted to say, tech journalists, get your head out of your asses. Do the job you're supposed to do and analyze this stuff on its own merits. And stop comparing to stuff to stuff it wasn't supposed to be compared to. When the iPhone came out, nobody said, well, it's, it's not as good as a bicycle because you can't hop on it and ride it down the street. It's kind of what you're doing. I know it's a ridiculous metaphor to use, but it's kind of what you're doing. And it's ridiculous and it just makes me furious every time because you're supposed to be the guys reporting on this stuff from an intelligent, informed position and you are just ignorant. Shut the fuck up or get a clue. Those are your two options. That's all I'm gonna get you. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.